What's up everybody, I'm Lockouts, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to enable the ultimate performance power plan. So no matter if you have a laptop, a desktop, doesn't matter what computer it has, I'm gonna show you how to enable ultimate performance power plan and you will get a massive increase in performance and stability and reliability out of your computer, no matter what it is. Check this out. Won't you do a favor for me? Take your mouse and click the button. Won't you subscribe to me? Doc out for buying the content that you see. I'm visually stimulating your mind one minute at a time. All right, guys, jumping into this, I'm gonna make this short, sweet, and painless as I can for me and for you because we're just trying to, you know, enable ultimate performance. I'm gonna show you how to turn it on right here. This is a hidden setting, uh, a hidden Windows power setting that they do not actually let you have access to unless you do this Windows PowerShell command, all right? So you're gonna scroll down into the comments. You're gonna copy this, this uh, Windows PowerShell command, and it starts with power CFG duplicate scheme, all these letters and numbers and stuff right here, okay? So you guys are gonna to get all of this you're gonna copy it copy just like this you guys are going to then right click on your little windows icon right here and then you're going to get windows powershell admin make sure you run as admin guys okay you're going to click yes when you click yes this blue box here is going to pop up when this blue box pops up like this you're going to just right click on your mouse and it'll automatically paste that code in there when you guys paste that code in there you're going to hit enter and then it's going to look just like this you're going to see power scheme guid all these letters and numbers ultimate performance which that means is successful it is now turned on on your computer now i'm going to say this if you cannot see ultimate performance power plan in your windows 10 after you just enabled it restart your computer come back to this step in the video right here so the next thing you guys are going to do is go down into your search bar right here and you're going to type in edit p-o-w-e-r and when you guys type in edit power you'll see a green little battery and a power plug option that looks like this click on it it's going to pop up and show you this box that looks like this. Now at the top right here, you're going to see these things that say control panel, all control panel options, power options, edit plan settings. You guys are going to want to select the one that says power options. When you select power options, it is going to look like this by default. You guys are going to want to select the power plan that we just enabled, ultimate performance power plan. You guys are going to click this little arrow, select the drop down box and wherever it says ultimate performance power plan you're going to then check that box okay and after you check that box you're going to go over and click change plan settings when you guys click change plan settings it is going to look like this you want to turn off display never put the computer to sleep never change advanced power settings you guys are going to turn off hard disk never the next thing that you guys want is desktop background settings slideshow put this on paused okay and the next thing that you guys want is sleep sleep after never okay turn that one off the next thing that you guys want is pci express link power management make sure that this one is off okay turn the setting to off the next thing that you want is processor power management this is minimum processor state maximum processor state and your cooling pro policy if you guys notice right here i have my minimum set to 100 my maximum set to 100 my cooling policy is set to active what this means is if you have a 5 gigahertz processor it will not run under four uh, five gigahertz and it will not run over five gigahertz so if you're watching just a regular video on youtube or just looking at your desktop pointlessly and just staring at it it's still your cpu is going to run at five gigahertz which means that if you are gaming and you're running around out in the field somewhere and you're only getting like 30 percent usage out of your cpu it is going to down clock under the five gigahertz which means you're going to get less frames per second by setting this to 100 on both settings it is unable to down clock under what Whatever your max core clock is on your CPU this is not overclocking it it does not make your computer hotter or anything like that it just keeps it at its max CPU frequency so that you get uh, better stable frames and consistency responsive time out of applications load times everything you do so turn this to 100 on both settings make sure that your cooling policy is active it will not hurt your computer to turn this on 100 for both settings this is just Windows automatically defaults like the minimum processor state to 5% 
percent so that if it's just sitting there your computer's not doing nothing the cpu or down clock to five percent you don't want that to happen while you're gaming and especially if you have a potato shitty pc you want the max performance out of it is that you can get all time so just set it like i did and it, it won't hurt it it won't hurt you believe me all right and then the next thing that you guys are going to do after that is just click ok you guys now have ultimate performance power plan enabled if i was you i would recommend to restart my computer from this point that way it, all the registry settings are completely enabled in windows and you have a nice fresh reboot and you guys go from there all right so if this has helped any of you guys out in any way shape or form by uh, enabling the ultimate performance power plan uh, this should you know like i said uh, give you a performance uh increase it whether you're running on a laptop uh, you know a potato pc or a real high-end pc depending no matter what it is ultimate performance power plant is hidden for a reason because it's ultimate performance all right so if this has helped any of you guys out you know click all the little buttons help me out it's free for you to just click like follow and subscribe i'm blockouts peace won't you do a favor for me take your mouse and click the button won't you subscribe to me Doc out for buying the content that you see I'm visually stimulating your mind one minute at a time